Oh, this is No Face Movement. And it's February the 18th, 2013. And uh, last night on February the 17th, Florida been seeing a lot of meteor showers. Now, I don't want everyone out there to go panic and think every single meteor you see is something. Uh, we do have a lot of meteors that impact the Earth. The only thing that's strange about the Florida meteor shower is that it was a meteor shower. It wasn't just one meteor. All right, meteor showers, um, astronomers, astrology, anyone uh, with a telescope, um, amateurs um, that are professional, though, or NOAA, NASA, they know when meteor showers happen because um, it's a bunch and it glows in the sky. All right, folks, but we're seeing a lot. And in my opinion, um, I don't believe what we're seeing is normal. Um, I believe that they're extraterrestrial. Um, it could be aliens. Or fallen, what I believe they are, um, spirits. All right, I believe uh, these spaceships that they have don't look like our spaceships because our technology is BS. Um, when we send our spaceship up in the space, it's just metal. All right, it could just sustain heat and a human body ages. All right, and we can't go that fast. It can't make another planet that fast. What these extraterrestrials, extraterrestrial dimensional beings can do is travel through rock. Um, if you take, there's actually patents, and we're going to get into this um, in our next video. Um, this is a conspiracy right now, what I'm talking about, but meteors do exist. But um, if you take a spaceship and you cover it with rock, you got the central gravitational pull in the spaceship. It actually sustains with the rock surrounding it, the gravitational pull. So when a meteor or an, a planet goes by, what happens is that it has sustained gravity to sustain life. And if you're inside a tiny asteroid that has gravity and you're in that spaceship, you got protection from the outside and your body won't age. The gravitation will go through a rock and it's going to go through the spaceship going that fast because they're moving as fast as planets can go through our whole solar system within one year. All right, that's the future of technology. I believe Asteroid 2012 DA14 was a no regular asteroid. I believe it was a spaceship. That's my opinion. I got no facts on that. Um, the only facts I do got is that it did break up. It had seismic activities. Um, NASA was studying it. Um, it went through on the daylight of the day side of our sun where the solar heat breaks it up. While I was going through the uh, Van Allen radiation belt, our gravitational pulls were pulling at it. All right, what happens? Pieces and fragments came up, but those pieces, piece and fragments could have came up on purposely and went over to Russia and went into the bottom of their lake, went over Japan, went into the ocean, went off the coast of Cuba, went into the ocean, went off the coast of San Francisco, and into the ocean. All right, they could either be missiles. Weapons for future or something that goes to the bottom of the ocean and we reawakens old technology and has charges, folks. All right, um, we're about to get into the Florida video right now. Check it out. Um, and it's not just one meteor, right? This is the only meteor, right, that they could catch because it's happening, right? You know, it's just too hard. You only got 17 seconds to see a meteor, and hopefully, if you have your cell phone out, it's record, but they only got one uh, picture of it. And you're going to see more by tomorrow, but there's hundreds of reports of meteor going over Florida. From Tampa Bay all the way to Miami. This is small. This is what a regular meteor looks like. Um, but they're seeing hundreds. All right. There's another meteor with a fire tail. These could be spaceships going into the ground, getting ready, reawakening the ground. These could be weapons waiting. All right, folks. So I want everyone. I want everyone out there to be prepared. Um, we got videos of uh, micro species terraforming Earth from meteors that was produced by NASA. And there's NASA documents. Let's go through my old videos. Chemtrails are terraforming our Earth, our atmosphere. You got red rain, red waters, all this stuff. Um, aluminum oxide is killing our plants, killing our air. So they got GM GMO seedling that could grow within that. Uh, by Monsanto's, by Mars Candy. Then you got humans eating fetus cells, folks. Aborted fetus cells in our food. Alright. Um, what do you think this is, Mystique? Um, it's my understanding. I don't think that science and 
biblical prophecy displaces itself. I believe they can walk hand in hand because I study some metaphysics. So saying this, uh, the, the race that used to be, the species that used to be known as Nephilim, used to eat mankind. That was one of the things the Heavenly Father saw and, um, of course, didn't like. So with that being said, I believe that this is something other than meteors. I, I believe that our science travels in metals and that other species can travel in something organic and that it will be accepted more so by the planetary shield and by planets and they're being thousand something years organic. more advanced than us so yes, their technology be. will be more organic like human technology it was starting to get organic like robots are like they got robots that look like humans right, right. so imagine what their technology is or our nanos and um, our pacemakers and humans we're starting to uh, link computers with natural organs, with cloning, with stem cell research. You see what I mean? Now let's get into this video. Um, this is a trailer from 2011. Um, we're almost at that mark, that two-year mark of Japan. All right, everyone forgot this trailer. All right, I like the movie. Not a lot of people like the movie. It's called The Battle of Los Angeles. And remember, it started off the same exact way: asteroids, meteor showers, meteorites um, were shown. All right, they couldn't understand what they were. And I'm going to point out a few things in this video. The link's going to be at the bottom. See, meteor impact sites. All right, they got New Orleans here, Mexico, Los Angeles, and I can't see the date. All right, so let's move on. So they got these alien creatures, extraterrestrials, coming in on meteorites. See, there's a meteor uh, shower belt, um, you know, meteor shower out there. The date's irrelevant. Now off the coast of Japan, people tell stories of giant flashes of the sky appear from nowhere. That's what, what's happening now, folks. All right. Meteor falls from sky across the world. That's what's happening now. Let's see if we see anything else. All right. That's Santa Monica. And then you know the rest of the trailer with the song and all that stuff. But I believe if there was an extraterrestrial invasion, this is what it would look like. I'm not sure if they would have things like that coming out of the sea. But I believe this is what it would look like. All right. Now, you got any other opinions on this, Misty? Um, yes, I believe that our technology um, and what we know today as science would accustom us to just thinking that these are meteors. But you have to think outside the box. Things are not as always what they appear to be as we well know. They might seem like meteors to us, but the behavior and how many they are and how they're traveling and all of that, this is just my opinion, so I want to preface that with this my opinion that it might not be what we think it is or what we would feel comfortable to think it is to so start pushing doing some research and get out your comfort zone and you already proved that something is terraforming the earth and we're about to get back in the series this week with vaccines with cloning um how they this entity travels and look like humans remember both seeds are here on earth folks all right and we're at that time. Alright. Let's get in this article that Onita sent us. Uh, monster black holes grow surprisingly fast. They don't understand why. Um, I believe it's from the gravitational pull of the central galactic plane. And of our central uh, position series uh, star um, is pulling. Because everything is lining up right now with the central galactic plane. Alright, the middle, not the middle of our galaxy with the central galactic plane. Alright, let's get into this. Monster black holes grow surprisingly fast. Giant black holes are famous for their appetites, but these matter munching monsters are even greedier than scientists once thought, a new study suggests. The supermassive black holes that lurk at the center of most, if not all, galaxies are growing surprisingly quickly, the study found. The result implies that these cosmic behemoths 
are sustained primarily by frequent small meals rather than rare and dramatic gal galactic mergers, as was previously believed. Supermassive black holes are almost incomprehensibly but huge, with some containing 10 billion or more times the mass of our own sun. The research team used computer simulations to investigate how such black holes... Uh, uh -oh. I apologize. Uh -oh. I'm sorry, guys. The research team used computer simulations to investigate how such black holes grow, especially in spiral galaxies like the Earth's Milky Way. The astronomers found that, contrary to prevailing theory, central black holes can grow quite rapidly in quiet, merger-free spirals simply by sucking up galactic gas and other matter. These simulations show that it is no longer possible to argue that black holes and spiral galaxies do not grow efficiently, study lead author Victor de Bastista of the University of Central Lancashire in England said in a statement, Our simulations will allow us to refine our understanding of how black holes grew in different types of galaxies. The new study further bolsters the emerging view that gigantic galactic smash-ups are responsible for just a small portion of supermassive black holes growth, researchers said, and such growth can be prodigious. The black hole at the heart of the famous Sombrero Galaxy, also known as M104 or NGC 4594, has swallowed the equivalent of one sun every 20 years and now contains at least 500 million solar masses, researchers said. The supermassive black hole at the core of the Milky Way galaxy appears far less greedy, growing at a rate of one solar mass every 3,000 years, researchers said. Scientists estimate that this black hole, also known as Sagittarius A, pronounced Sagittarius A star, has the mass of about 4 million suns. The new study was published today, February the 12th, by the Astrophysical Journal. You can see the... Uh the link if you want to comment on this article at the bottom of the video. So basically, they really don't know how black holes are created or galaxies. And I'd be dumb to say I know what's causing these uh, galaxies to span because we ain't above the galaxy. We ain't going through the galaxy. We can't test the galaxy. All right. And these scientists are probably getting their information from somewhere else. But the, the understanding I got of our galaxy is once you enter the central galactic plane, the gravitational force is heavy. And Earth right now, this is this is not relevant to this article, but Earth right now, I forgot to mention, is in an oracle cloud. All right, we just arrived there, and we arrived there in the month of December, not December 21st. That's when we enter the central galactic plane. It takes five years for the gravitational force to pull us out, and we'd be back there in another 10,000 years. But the oracle plane is just as important. The Oracle Plane is all uh, it's electricity. It's plain just electricity, free electricity. All right, we're gonna be there for five thousand years, supposedly. And this galaxy, I guess, is growing super fast. They don't understand why. The reason I believe this galaxy is right, uh, growing super fast, is that it's aligned with the central galactic plane and it's pulling on its outer edges. Now, if there's more gravitational pull, the galaxy should be smaller if it's going inside the black hole. All right, folks. We got a lot of stuff to discuss. I want you guys to go check out Chemtrails, Chemtrails Expose, the terraforming of the Earth. Because this is what's happening, folks. There's no lie. We have a lot of strange stuff from the Pope to dead animals to dolphins fleeing to geoengineering, the chemtrails. All right. And if you watch History Channel, they're telling you this happened thousands of years ago. It's happening right now, folks. Right in front of your face. Alright, this is the No Face Movement. Please rate, subscribe, comment. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Blogspot, Critterbox, Godlike Production. Please also subscribe to Mystique and Astrology and Astronomy, my second channel. Um, if anything happens here, this is the No Face Movement. Move, move to next time. Facing off. Peace. And be prepared. Be prepared. And if anyone has camera, one more thing I totally forgot to mention is look up at the stars since it's a clear night. Alright. When a clear night is, go outside with your camera and look at the moving or your cell phones. Look at the stars. There are a few stars that are moving weird. All right, I experienced it tonight. I look at the stars. I stargaze a lot um, with my telescope in my backyard. And I'm starting to notice that there's more stars and they shouldn't be in certain places. This is the movement moving out. Peace.